Finally, after 11 months, tumawag na yung PLDT since naputol yung internet connection sa bahay ko dahil sa bagyong Udet on December 17 last year. Pero sinisingil kami ng PLDT na magbayad ng more than 13,000 pesos dahil daw sa mga buwan na hindi namin nabayaran. At ito ang sagot ko. Paki-subscribe na rin para hindi kayo maputula ng PLDT. At bigyan nyo na rin ako ng super thanks para may pambayad ako sa PLDT. I am sarcastically joking. On November 20, tumawag sa cellphone ko ang PLDT at hinanap ang anak ko dahil nasa kanya, kanyang pangalan ang subscription ng PLDT account namin. Ang bait pa ng customer service agent ng PLDT na magsabi sa akin, Sir, please be informed that your PLDT subscription is now permanently disconnected due to non-payment of your bills. Kalmado mo na akong sumagot, Miss, may I know anong mga buwan yung hindi nabayaran? Sabi ng agent, from May to September this year. Sabi ko, Miss, mahiya naman kayo sisingil sa amin na hindi nga nabalik ang connection namin since uh, typhoon o death. At kahit isang PLDT technician or anino ng technician nyo ay hindi nagpakita dito sa bahay namin para kumustahin yung connection namin. Ito kasi yung nangyari sa aftermath ng typhoon o death. Um, I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> Lahat ng telcos were affected kasi kasama bumagsak yung kable nila sa mga poste ng uh, electricity dito sa Cebu. At dahil doon, hindi lang blackout at walang tubig kami, wala kaming cellphone signal at lalo na internet connection. Nang makabalik ang supply ng kuryente sa amin after three weeks, yung ibang lugar is months, <laughs> yung phone and internet connection ay hindi pa rin normal. So we made some follow-ups kung kailan maibalik ang connection namin. But in the meantime, I went back on using my PLDT home prepaid router. Ikaso lang, the router is relying also on the cellular phone signal. So mabagal rin ang connection kasi mobile connection nga at that time is weak, lalo na ang signal ng smart dito sa area namin. January 20 or just after a month, na-restore yung PLDT connections in some parts of our subdivision. Pero sa amin ay wala pa. Pero excited na nga ako at the time kasi akala ko malapit na mabalik uh, yung linya namin. Lumipas ang isang linggo, hindi pa rin bumalik ang linya namin. Then on January 27, I saw a PLDT contractor across our house. I inquired from the crew. And I was told that they are installing a new home fiber line para sa aming kapitbahay na nasa harap lang namin. <laughs> Sabi pa ng isang crew, mag-apply ka na lang sir ng bagong linya kasi mas mabilis kaysa restoration ng existing account. Hanggang Pebrero, medyo frustrated na kami sa bahay namin. Tatlo kasi kami na at the time working from home. So kailangan talaga namin ng mabilis na internet connection. And on February 9, meron akong nakitang PLDT contractor sa isang banda ng subdivision namin uh, repairing the lines. So tinanong ko yung lineman kung aayusin ba nila lahat. Isabi e, yun, sabi ng uh, lineman, yun lang daw meron silang dala na circuit na service ticket number. So hindi pa rin kami kasali sa repair job kasi hindi hindi nasali sa hindi nasali yung service ticket namin na dala nila. Ang sakla pa, mayroong PLDT regular employee na nag-escort sa contractor. Sabi ko, ang lakas naman ng neighbor namin sa PLDT. <laughs> On same day, Feb 9, I attempted to make a follow-up of my service ticket doon mismo na sa office ng PLDT sa Lapu-Lapu City. Okay? Pero sabi ng guard, wala nang priority number, sir. <laughs> so, umuwi na lang ako. So, I ended up applying for new application sa PLDT via online nang makabalik ako sa bahay. And the days after, meron na naman ako nakita na PLD, PLDT contractor installing new line sa loob ng subdivision namin. 
And on February 13, I received an email from PLDT pointing out that the address I provided in my application has an existing account, meaning referring to our existing account under the name of my son. By Feb 15, PLDT said my home application has been cancelled because I have same address with an existing account. So, napilita na ako mag-apply sa Globe and Converge. Sabi ko, may the fastest telco to process our application wins. <laughs> and Converge won. By Feb 23, or on the eve of the Russian invasion in Ukraine, <laughs> we got finally an internet connection from Converge. So, sinabi ko ito sa tumawag na PLDT customer agent lately na meron na kaming bagong ISP. And the agent, in fairness, was apologetic na marinig na hindi na-restore ang aming PLDT connection since last year. And we were forced to apply for another ISP. And I told the agent that during those months, May to September, na sinisingil nila, hindi kami nakakonek sa PLDT kasi on April, tinanggal ko itong PLDT modem and router at pinotol ko yung kable nila papasok sa bahay to declutter the house. And they can verify that in the record na not a single bit of signal was used during that month from our side. Huh? So I demanded that they should close the account without asking us to pay and uh, to clean the record of my son. You know what? Kung meron kang payable sa mga telcos at hindi mo nabayaran sa loob ng mahabang panahon, the telco will report your record to the Credit Information Corporation and that will have impact on your credit ratings in the future. Mahirapan kang mangutang sa mga financial institution dahil doon sa supposed unpaid bills mo. Kaya sabi ko sa PLDT agent na i-clear yung name ng anak ko. In March this year, sabi ng PLDT na makakareceive ang kanilang mga customers ng automatic rebates dahil sa non-service after typhoon o death. So ironic, nangyari sa amin kasi, kasi kami ang sinisingil nila for their failure to deliver. <laughs> okay, so I hope meron kayong natutunan sa experience namin. Until the next video and next tech round ko dito sa YouTube. Dekan salamat, ako si Jun Tariman. Hi-tech, bye-bye.